The weekly trip to the grocery store has become a source of anxiety for many American families, turning what was once a routine errand into a stressful ordeal. Prices for essential food items have skyrocketed in recent years, stretching already tight budgets to the breaking point and leaving many families in a constant state of financial worry. The average family of four now faces a daunting grocery bill of around $275 per week, a figure that continues to climb. This adds up to more than $1,100 a month, a significant expense that can rival the cost of rent or mortgage payments, putting immense pressure on household finances. The burden of these rising costs falls heavily on families struggling to make ends meet, forcing them to constantly juggle their financial priorities. For many, putting food on the table has become a daily struggle, a challenge that seems to grow more difficult with each passing week. Parents are forced to make difficult choices between buying groceries and paying for other essential needs, such as housing, healthcare, and transportation, often sacrificing one necessity for another. The rising cost of groceries is not merely a financial strain, it's a source of stress, worry, and uncertainty for millions of Americans, affecting their overall well-being. The joy of sharing a meal with loved ones is overshadowed by the constant worry of how to afford the next trip to the supermarket, turning mealtime into a reminder of financial hardship. The impact of these rising costs extends far beyond individual households, affecting communities and social support systems. Food insecurity, a lack of consistent access to enough food for an active, healthy life, is on the rise, with more families finding themselves in need of assistance. Families are increasingly relying on food banks and government assistance programs to supplement their grocery budgets, highlighting the growing need for support. The strain on these resources is palpable, highlighting the urgent need to address the root causes of rising grocery prices and find sustainable solutions. This essay will delve into the complex factors driving up the cost of groceries in the USA, exploring the multifaceted issues at play. From supply chain disruptions to corporate profits, we will examine the forces at play and their impact on American consumers, shedding light on the broader economic landscape. Understanding these factors is crucial for finding solutions that ensure access to affordable, nutritious food for all, paving the way for a more secure and equitable future. The current surge in grocery prices is not an isolated incident, but part of a larger trend that has been building for years, affecting millions of households across the globe. Since 2019, food prices have experienced an alarming 28% increase, a figure that continues to rise. This unprecedented rise is a stark reminder of the vulnerability of our food system and the far-reaching consequences of economic instability, which can affect every aspect of daily life. To understand the magnitude of this issue, it's essential to examine the historical context and the factors that have led us here. Three primary factors have converged to create the perfect storm driving up food prices, rising operating costs, persistent supply chain disruptions, and increasing corporate profits, each playing a crucial role. Each of these factors plays a significant role in the complex equation of food prices, and understanding their individual contributions is crucial for developing effective solutions that can mitigate these rising costs. Rising operating costs are felt at every stage of the food system, from the farm to the supermarket, affecting everyone involved. Farmers face increasing expenses for essential inputs such as fertilizer, seeds, and animal feed, which are critical for food production. These rising costs are passed down the supply chain, impacting food processors, manufacturers, distributors, and retailers, creating a ripple effect. Ultimately, these increased expenses land on the shoulders of consumers in the form of higher prices, making it harder for families to make ends meet. Supply chain disruptions, exacerbated by the COVID-19 pandemic and the ongoing conflict in Ukraine, have further fueled the upward pressure on food prices, creating additional challenges. These disruptions have created bottlenecks in the flow of goods, leading to shortages and delays that drive up costs, affecting availability and affordability. The fragility of our globalized food system has been exposed, highlighting the need for greater resilience and diversification to withstand future shocks. Adding to the complexity of the issue is the role of corporate profits, which have seen significant increases. While rising operating costs and supply chain disruptions have undoubtedly contributed to higher food prices, some companies have exploited these challenges to increase their profit margins, taking advantage of the situation. This opportunistic behavior further exacerbates the burden on consumers who are struggling to afford basic necessities, making it a pressing issue that needs immediate attention.
The global supply chain, a complex network of interconnected systems that move goods from producers to consumers, has been severely disrupted in recent years. This intricate web, which once operated with remarkable efficiency, now faces unprecedented challenges. The COVID-19 pandemic and the war in Ukraine have exposed the fragility of these systems, leading to shortages, delays, and skyrocketing prices for essential goods, including food. These events have highlighted vulnerabilities that were previously underestimated. Understanding the specific ways in which these events have impacted the supply chain is crucial for addressing the root causes of rising grocery costs. Experts and policymakers are now delving deeper into the intricacies of these disruptions to find sustainable solutions. The COVID-19 pandemic triggered a cascade of disruptions that continue to reverberate throughout the global economy. From the initial outbreak to subsequent waves, each phase has brought its own set of challenges. Lockdowns and social distancing measures led to factory closures, labor shortages, and transportation bottlenecks. These measures, while necessary for public health, had a profound impact on the movement of goods. These disruptions rippled through the supply chain, impacting the production, processing, and distribution of food products. The effects were felt from the fields where crops are grown to the factories where food is processed. Supermarket shelves once stocked with a bounty of choices were suddenly bare as consumers grappled with shortages of essential items. The sight of empty shelves became a common and unsettling experience. The war in Ukraine has further exacerbated supply chain disruptions, particularly for key agricultural commodities like wheat, corn, and sunflower oil. The conflict has created additional layers of complexity and uncertainty. Ukraine, known as the breadbasket of Europe, is a major global supplier of these staple grains. Its agricultural output is crucial for feeding millions around the world. The conflict has disrupted planting and harvesting, leading to export restrictions and fears of global food shortages. The uncertainty surrounding the conflict has made it difficult to predict future supply levels. The ripple effects of these disruptions are felt far beyond Ukraine's borders, impacting food prices and availability worldwide. Countries that rely on Ukrainian exports are now scrambling to find alternative sources. The Federal Trade Commission, tasked with protecting consumers and promoting competition, launched an investigation into supply chain disruptions and their impact on grocery prices. This investigation aims to uncover the underlying factors contributing to the crisis. The FTC's findings revealed that while the pandemic and the war in Ukraine undoubtedly played a role, the actions of large market participants also exacerbated the negative effects. These entities leveraged their market power to influence prices. These companies, with their vast market power, were able to leverage the crisis to their advantage, leading to higher prices and greater profits. This behavior has raised questions about corporate ethics during times of global distress. The FTC's investigation highlights the need for greater scrutiny of corporate behavior during times of crisis. Ensuring accountability is essential for protecting consumers and maintaining market integrity. When essential goods like food are at stake, it's crucial to ensure that companies are operating in a fair and transparent manner. Transparency and fairness are key to rebuilding trust in the supply chain. The findings also underscore the importance of building more resilient and diversified supply chains that are less susceptible to disruptions. Investing in resilience now can help mitigate future crises and ensure a steady flow of essential goods. Uh, droughts have become more frequent and severe, affecting the agricultural sector significantly. Farmers are struggling to maintain crop yields, and this scarcity drives up prices. Water shortages mean higher costs for irrigation, and these expenses are often passed on to consumers. Additionally, unpredictable weather patterns make it challenging to plan and harvest crops efficiently. As a result, the overall supply of food decreases, further pushing up grocery costs. It's a complex issue, but understanding these factors helps us grasp why we're paying more at the checkout. So let's dive into the economic pressures on food prices. You see, various factors like inflation, supply chain disruptions, and changes in consumer demand all play a role. Inflation, for instance, reduces the purchasing power of money, making groceries more expensive. And when supply chains face disruptions, it often leads to shortages, driving prices up. Plus, shifts in consumer demand can cause certain products to become more expensive if they're in high demand. Now let's talk about corporate practices and how they contribute to rising costs. Companies often pass on increased costs to consumers. This might include costs from higher wages, more expensive raw materials, 
or even investments in new technologies. Additionally, some corporations engage in price gouging, where they raise prices beyond what is necessary to cover costs, simply to increase profits. This practice can significantly impact the prices we see on the shelves. Moving on, the price of raw materials and labor also affects grocery costs. When the cost of raw materials like grains, vegetables, or meat goes up, so does the price of the final product. Labor costs are another crucial factor. If wages for workers in the food industry increase, those costs are often passed on to consumers. It's a complex web, but understanding these elements can help us grasp why our grocery bills are rising. Finally, let's focus on understanding and managing these costs. Being aware of the factors driving food prices can help us make more informed decisions. For instance, buying seasonal produce can sometimes be cheaper. Additionally, shopping at different stores and comparing prices can make a big difference. And of course, reducing food waste at home can help manage overall expenses. By staying informed and being strategic, we can better navigate the rising costs of groceries.